Hello, April here, and today I'm gonna be finally doing a recipe. This is uh, my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. This recipe is a little bit different than most recipes that I've seen because it includes this, a packet of instant vanilla pudding. So if you're curious on how to get very chewy, delicious chocolate chip cookies, keep on watching. So one cup of softened butter or margarine, which equates to two sticks. And we're going to whip that a little bit just to get it broken down. Thing you need is a half cup of packed brown sugar. And Tyler's phone is in there. Okay. Really, Amy? You're ruining everything. So, quarter cup of granulated sugar. So you need instant vanilla pudding. Any type, any brand, whatever. It has to be instant. It can't be like a stovetop pudding. One full package is gonna go in. Cream that together with your butter. Hey, the next thing you need is two eggs. Uh, I already put one in easier to incorporate them one at a time. The second egg. Right. See? Nice and mix. The last thing I'm going to put into this before I start getting the flour ready is some vanilla extract and salt. So about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla. Perfect. And mix that all together. All I need is two cups of flour and then last thing is baking soda. You need a teaspoon. And we're going to add in the dry ingredients, probably in thirds. And you want to scrape down the sides after every incorporation of dry ingredients. Last bit. mix until well combined. When it's all mixed, I'm gonna try and get as much of the better off as you want. So for the next part, you're either going to want a spatula or a spoon for the entire bag. And just fold in the chocolate chips until you think they're thoroughly distributed throughout the batter. So I have thoroughly mixed it and you can go ahead and bake this right now, but I find it eas it's easier to dish out into portion sizes if you let it cool 10 to 15 minutes. And while it is cooling in the fridge, you can preheat your oven to 375. All right. Our batter is chilled, so it'll be a little more firm and easier to form into our cookies. I normally use parchment paper to put down. It makes it a lot easier, a lot cleaner. But I didn't bring any with me to tie this off, so I'm gonna try a couple on aluminum foil. Other thing you'll need is either a, like a spring ice cream scoop, that it already dishes it out perfectly for you, or two spoons. Either way is fine.
or we've got all dished out. My oven is preheated to 375. It says from 12 to 15 minutes. We're gonna pull them out when it's starting to get golden right around the edge and then put them off on a cooling rack. are done. Got Tyler taste test. He's already going in for it. So really good. This came out maybe about 10 minutes ago. Still, they're just so soft. You should make these every day. These are the best cookies in the, in the world. So, yeah. Hope you make it for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful. Um, Oh no! Oh no! He oh, dropped no. his cookie on the ground! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Alright. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye bye. I will see you soon. Really? What's going on? What's up? He's had to get milk right now. He had to get milk. I was for the almost I was almost done. I know, this is good content though. Content gonna be cut out. No, I'll be cutting nothing out. Why? Why does it have to be illegal? It's supposed to matter. It's so good. <laughs>